Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about oily skin, my holy grail products. I went onto Instagram and asked you guys what video you would like to see today and most of you said that you wanted to see my oily skin holy grail products and I'm excited to share them with you. So I have a ton of products here in front of me. Now, I know that some of you wanted to see as well um, best moisturizers for oily skin and it clicked on my head I'm like okay well I can just add them to this video so I'm going to be mentioning as well the um, moisturizers that I prefer for my oily skin so this video is going to be a combination of skincare and makeup as well so if you want to know what my oily skin holy grail products are just keep on watching okay so I'm going to start with skincare and then just move my way up so the first thing that I wanted to mention is this product right here which is by Murad this is the AHA slash BHA exfoliating cleanser this polishes away dullness and excess cellular debris, priming the skin for treatment products, and it reveals a smoother texture and more even toned complexion without irritation. Let me tell you guys that ever since I started using this product, it has changed my skin for the better. I immediately noticed that my sh um, my pores look so much smaller even when I'm not wearing makeup right after I clean my face with this my skin or, or at least my pores it just look a lot smaller. Now the reason for that being and I've done a lot a lot of research I'm obviously not an esthetician or a derm dermatologist so you know I could be wrong with some things but from the research that I've done BHA is really good for oily skin because what this does, it penetrates the pore deep down and it actually cleans from the inside and it just extracts everything else. Some of the reasons why your pores may look bigger is again because you're not using the right products to clean and deeply exfoliate those pores because they're so clogged with like dirt and um, sebum which is like all the oil, makeup. So there could be tons of layers on your pores which they're trying to get oxygen that's the reason why they get larger so this for me has definitely changed my skin so much i was really scared about this product and i didn't think i was going to like it at first but i honestly love it and a little bit of this goes a long long way it is pricey i believe it's 36 to 38 dollars for one of these but honestly i think this is going to last me maybe half a year if not longer because now i don't use it every day i use it every other day if i can find a clip i will try to find a clip of before i started using the murad um products and i will show you a close-up of how my pores looked and i will show you a close-up of how my pores look now obviously with makeup i just think it looks really good i wish i would have taken a uh, before and after picture. I didn't think of it though. Now for cleansing my skin, taking off my makeup, what I love using is the Clinique. Ooh, it's full of water because I keep it in my bathroom. I love using the Clinique liquid facial soap and this is mild. Uh, this is for dry to combination skin. So I've been using this for months on months now. My boyfriend gave it to me for Valentine's Day I believe. He surprised me with this and I'm literally like almost done with it. I don't know if you can see it. I'm like almost done with this product. I love it so much. It's very gentle on the skin. It makes my skin super smooth and it's not irritating because I have sensitive skin. Now when I wash my face every night, um, I do use the the spin for better for perfect skin. This really gets deep into my pores and it just cleans everything out. I've also had this for a while and I really do like it. The only problem that I had with this product is it actually stopped working. This little thing that spins, it stopped spinning. So I had to contact them and they were just nice enough to send me another one. They don't know that I'm a beauty vlogger so they just, you know, that just tells you that they have good customer service. I just told them that I had ordered one a few months ago and it stopped working and they sent me this one with a warranty. I do like it and it's not expensive. I actually got this one for like 30 bucks I think 
which it's amazing this stuff has also changed my skin it makes it really smooth and it didn't break me out so that was a plus now once you're finished with um, cleaning your face washing it etc you always 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 want to use a toner a toner will just bring balance back to your skin because you are stripping everything away like the natural oils even though we are oily girls we definitely want to have our skin moisturized the one that I love is the Thayer's Natural Remedies Alcohol Free Toner Rose Petal Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera Formula. This stuff is so, uh, it's so amazing. This stuff is really good. First of all, if you have sensitive skin, things that have alcohol can be very irritating to the skin. So I've, you know, I've changed that up. My toners, I no longer get anything that has alcohol in it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this here locally, so I did have to order it off of eBay or Amazon. If you are interested, I will leave it linked down below, but I've heard that Walgreens carries this. This smells really good. It smells like roses. It's a very soft, feminine um, smell, and it has witch hazel, which, again, witch hazel is amazing if you have acne-prone skin. Now, once a week, I do like to treat my skin really nice and kind of give it, like, a spa day. Um, if you guys want to see, like, you know, like my um, pampering routine or something like that because I do do it once a week. I do a clay mask and then I also do a PMD. This is the personal microdermabrasion and I've also had this for a while now. This, I think this one and this one is what my boyfriend got for me for Valentine's Day. I was begging for this stuff because it is really expensive. So he got this for me and I love it. I'm kind of bad because I don't use that as often as I should. You should use this once a week. What it is, it's pretty much a device that is going to um, take away all the dead skin that you have on your face. It doesn't turn on right now because it needs to be plugged in. But you plug it into the wall and it turns on. And if you can see, it has this little... Um, that little thing in the middle, I don't know what it is, but it has fine, like, crystals which exfoliates the skin. You just tug at your skin and then you go in upwards motion. And you can see, like, all the dead skin that it's taking off. It's really nasty, but it's really cool because it takes away all your, like, dark spots, you know, all the manchas that you may have, acne, um, scarring, or just anything, blemishes, anything like that, discoloration, this will take care of it. You just really need to be, um, you know, you just have to follow up with it and use it as recommended. And it comes with different little heads so you can use them depending on how deep of an exfoliation you need. You can just use that. So I would just say work your way up from there. Now, for moisturizers, I've only have two here and the reason why because again my skin is so sensitive I've tried tons of moisturizers like I wouldn't even know where to start you know as far as naming them and all of them have cost me some sort of breakouts it's a pain in the ass to find a good moisturizer so the ones that I have found that have worked really good for my skin you guys have seen this in a lot of my get ready with me videos this is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel and this is very hydrating for oily skin now I know that a lot of people don't wear moisturizers because they already have oily skin and let me tell you, stop that right now because that is the worst thing you can do to your skin. I was one of those people that I used to not moisturize my skin because I was like, ugh, my skin is oily, you know, what do I need a moisturizer for? But what's actually happening is if you're not giving your skin moisture even though it's oily, it's actually dry. So what it's doing is it's trying to compensate for the moisture and it's making, it's producing more oil, therefore you are going to be a lot oilier. I don't know word. And then something that I just got maybe like two weeks ago is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. And this is really nice. I was actually looking for a, a moisturizer that was going to be a little bit more heavy for the nighttime. This is good, but I think it's better for the morning. I feel like I need something a little bit more hydrating for the nights. Still on the hunt for it. I use it at night and in the morning. And again, it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily or anything. It just sinks right in and then I can move on to the next step. So you guys know that these are my favorites. Um basis for my oily skin this is the number seven beautifully matte um 
what is it? The makeup base. This stuff is really good if you have oily skin. The only thing that I have to complain about this is the texture um, of it. So when I apply it on my skin, you have to work really quick with it. Otherwise, it kind of gives you like little patches here and there. It's it's a strange consistency, but it works. It keeps me mad all day and my makeup doesn't move. Now this one's a little bit more liquidy than the number seven. This one is really good as well for controlling oil. I do feel like this one lasts a little bit more than this one, but nonetheless, this is another really good um, makeup base for oily skin. Now for foundations, I have two here, but I'm going to quickly talk about the third one, which you guys are probably like sick of me talking about it. But it's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. I still haven't bought it. So I'm, I'm just trying to hold myself back from buying it because I really don't need another foundation. But if you guys haven't tried that, get a sample from Sephora. Thank me later. That stuff is amazing for oily skin. It'll keep you matte all day and the texture of it is just amazing. For drugstore, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation is definitely one of my favorite ones to use. It's what's on my skin today and I've been wearing it since the morning and it's kept me matte so far. And the other one that keeps me also matte all day is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This stuff is also really nice on the skin. I don't feel like I get oily with this one. If I had to choose between the NARS and the Makeup Forever, I think I would go for the Makeup Forever because I feel like that one keeps me matte a little bit longer than this. But since I already have this, I have to use it. You guys know that I'm a big fan of the baking method. And the reason why I like to do the baking method is because I honestly feel like it also helps me control the shine on my face. So my favorite one, of course, is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. When I use this, I like to bring it all the way in here and then over here and then just bring it up to here. Obviously, this is not oily, but this is really oily. And this, again, just helps control the shine on my face and it does keep me matte all day. Again, the only downside is that this literally smells like a viejita. So that's the only thing I don't like about it, but I get past the smell. So those are the products that I had to share with you guys. I know that was probably a lot of information, but I really wanted to give you my personal experience and I have a lot of fuzzies. Things that I like to do to just take control over the shine of my face and just minimize the pores because I know usually people with oily skin have really large pores, but I'm telling you, once you start using the right products for your face, your pores are going to look a lot better and they're not going to be as large because you're going to be deep cleaning them. My best advice is to do your research and honestly, just trial and error is the best way of knowing what's good for your skin, what works and what doesn't. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and also let me know what other videos you guys would like to see next. And also I wanted to mention really quickly, unfortunately the person from the giveaway has not contacted me yet. So I am going to have to move on to another Another person I will draw a winner um, today and I will just leave it in the description bar the name of the person that won um, and yeah we'll just have to pick somebody else because you know it's I've tried waiting for them and it's been almost a week or actually it's been a week so I think it's time to move on and give another person a shot to win so if you do see your name in the description bar please Email me as soon as possible. It's just omglashes at gmail.com. I will have all the info in the description bar down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.